It's a while since I've made a drunk video, but having just had lots of wine with my neighbours, this is a slightly tiddly video. And it just so happens that this is the third of the year that the shops all put out Christmas and Halloween stuff simultaneously. And to be honest, it's the best part of the year. And this is a set of Christmas lights, phone charger, USB charging cable, triple adapter. Uh, this came from... I was going to say Pound World. It used to be Pound World. It's not Pound World anymore. It is called One Below because Pound World went bust. Uh, they were the main arch nemesis of Poundland. And the stuff they sell is not generally up to the standard. Having said that, they have improved greatly since they kind of went bust and restarted again. So this is a set of Christmas lights that is also a... USB charger for your phone. It's got the main incoming lead here and then it's got what looks like an Apple charger here and then a micro USB charger that can either plug into the Apple type charger or into a USB-C connector by the look of it. Interesting. So Poundland did a version of these and they had a bit of a checkered history. They uh, Often, they actually had three wires. This has only got two wires. But the uh, the Poundland stuff, they had the sort of like the, the standard USB cable going through, but they also had an extra pair of wires for the LEDs. And they had a resistor, but unfortunately, a lot of them were miswired. And the first LED actually uh, had the resistor in the wrong place. So the first LED would often go pop and fail quite dramatically. Uh, and the others would light normally because it was limited the current to them, but not that one. But this is a, I guess this is a resistor per LED because it has, uh, let's test that. Let's use the little uh, USB tester. And we'll see what current it draws. It should be in the region of, I think, how many LEDs are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 LEDs. Oh shit. It's drawing over an amp. That's not right. Calculator. Hold on, let's do that again. It's drawing... The current is going down. Let's say it was drawing... Hold on, it was drawing an amp. <laughs> 1,000 milliamps divided by 8 uh, LEDs equals 125 milliamps per LED. That's not right. Do these have resistors built into them? Are they, they're not sticking the LEDs directly across 5 volts, are they? Well, that's a good start. Uh, can I get one of these out? Can I... Hold on, they're, they're glued in. All I need is one of these out to actually just rip it open and see, right, tell you what, if I can't get one of these LEDs out because they are hot melt glued in, I shall... Uh, oh, there, there's one, right, tell you what, where is that knife? Let's see if there is a resistor or not. That's dire. There must be a resistor. Surely there must be a resistor per LED. Let me just peel this off. Let's zoom down in this so you can uh, see the reveal. Oh shit, that's a bad start. Uh, let's try that again with a, a super sharp knife while I'm trying not to stab myself in the process. Actually, right now, I've just... I've become so disenchanted in this set of string of lights, I'm not really bothered if I damage them. Is there a resistor? Hold on, I'm just trying to peel this uh, heat shrink off and see what's inside. This is where the side cutters would have been really handy, but I've not gotten through here. I've been using them through another room. There's no resistor. They've actually... Wired LEDs directly across the 5 volts. How odd. Okay. One moment, please. Right, I've connected the meter. I've cut the end off here. And I've connected the meter across the two wires coming through. And if I plug them in... The LEDs are very... I mean, they're not that bright. They're dimming down. They are struggling. Uh, 4.73 amps at the end. Well, minus 4.73 amps because the polarity I've connected. But uh, it does appear to be just 
basically drawing a huge amount of current to light the LEDs and they're overdriving the LEDs and I don't expect them to last too long. Why would somebody do that? Why have they done that? Um, I'm perplexed. Tell you what, I'm just going to leave this lit for a while and see if the LEDs start conking. One moment, please. Back again. Uh, the LEDs are not happy. This one started flickering. It's gone very dim. The voltage, I said amps before, I meant volts. The voltage has now risen because the current through the LEDs has dropped to about 342 milliamps. Hold on. Uh, let's do the maths here. Uh, 342, 344 milliamps right now, divided by, I'll tilt it up at the right angle this time, divided by the eight LEDs equals 43 milliamps per LED, which is between three, two to three times what you'd normally run that. And to be honest, I'd have expected to run these at about five milliamps, given that this is a USB charger. You want as much current for charging your phone as possible. Um... I'm inclined to say at this point uh, that these LEDs are struggling, that they should have had a resistor per LED. I'm not sure what planet they're on to actually do this, to actually just slap LEDs across the 5 volts. I don't think they're rated for that in any way. Um, initially, I thought maybe they're current limiting LEDs. Well, they are in a sense that the current has really dropped now. Now that they're hot, I think they're being abused. Um, the other thing I noticed here is that they've shoved the LED right into the uh, light, whereas if you pull it back to the point it's just at the base, it actually looks nicer. Um, so, in short, I would say that if you have seen these lights, let me just grab the box. If you've seen these lights in one and below, I would really don't recommend buying them. They've actually managed to make a worse set of lights than uh, Poundland's awful version that had this tendency to blow up the first LED. Uh, fascinating, but having said that, a bit of isopropanol down the end of these will probably liberate these caps. Perhaps you could uh, use them on something else, but I really wouldn't recommend actually using this thing. It's just an absolutely terrible design. And in a way, that's a great start to Christmas. Little extra update. Remember how hard it was to get the LEDs out before? Uh, well, it's not so hard now because they're getting so hot that they're actually melting the hot melt glue. And you can actually pull... Oh, shit, they've gone out complete. That's because I've unplugged it. They're actually getting so hot they're melting the hot melt glue that holds the LEDs into the housings. Uh, so they're really easy to get out now. Also, notice this LED that is now super, super dim. That was the blue one that has uh, gone super dim. Yeah, they're melting their own hot melt glue. Wow, that is outstanding.